In this morning's off-Broadway buzz, a play that leaves you laughing out loud. The play that goes wrong first ran on Broadway in 2017. CBS 2's Dick Brennan tells us the actors are in a play about actors in a play. The play that goes wrong is Fall Out Funny, a zany, antic-filled farce. This play within a play opens the door on what happens when things don't go right on stage. They're attempting to put up a murder mystery. It's opening night. It's very exciting. It's very high stakes. Uh, and from the get-go, things aren't going very well. Welcome to the Colney University Drama Society's presentation of The Murder. We sat down with actors Matt Harrington. I play Chris Bean, and he is the uh, director of the play. He also plays the inspector who shows up to try to solve the mystery. He is not a mellow man. This is his baby. This has to go right for him. And Brent Bateman. I play the actor Robert Grove, who plays the character Thomas Collymore in The Murder Mystery. And Robert and Chris have a very explosive relationship together. So there's very much a power struggle there. <laughs> audience members, it pays to pay attention because it doesn't take long before things go haywire. It feels dangerous at times. Things are happening so fast. The play gets loud. There's a lot of contact. You want to have a lookout, not that you're in danger, but your senses will be aware that some dangerous things are happening. The comedy on stage has to be carefully choreographed to avoid trouble. There's so many ways in which the wrong can go wrong. I think this show has called upon more of my training than almost any show I've ever done. Remember, it's a play within a play, and the set also takes center stage. In Nigel Hook's Tony Award winning scenic design, the furniture and backdrops are characters too. This set gets in the way of us over and over and over again in ways that you can't imagine. We're in this period, you know, murder mystery, but underneath we're all like gladiators. We're all in knee pads and braces. And what I love about the show is that it, it looks like a murder mystery. It's actually commedia dell'arte. It's old Italian clowning. The actors say the play that goes wrong may seem improvised, but it's not. Some of the moments that seem really loose are actually highly scripted and highly rehearsed for safety. Harrington and Bateman were in the show before the pandemic, so stepping back on stage comes with a renewed spirit. You're watching this play and you're literally watching theater kind of fight for its life and win. Since returning, there's more weight to the house full of laughing people. Just to hear hundreds of people in a room again after a year and a half of isolation just laughing till they're crying for two hours and it just I get emotional thinking about it now the laughter and the joy of live theater Dick Brennan CBS 2 News and you can see the play that goes wrong at New World Stages on West 50th Street and during off-Broadway week you can get two-for-one tickets through February 27th